Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you and the person that's currently on your mind, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you and the person that is currently on your mind. We're going to get right into this. I do want to send a special shout out, guys, to my members. Thank you, guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you, guys, for joining me for all my subscribers, guys, both old and new. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. You guys are all loved and appreciated, okay? All right, we're going to get right into this energy. Hmm. That you're the only means through which a cause can succeed. You guys have someone here that... Hmm. Somebody has somebody on a pedestal. Your spirit guys wants you guys to know that your feelings are real and they're worth exploring here. Hmm. Why do I feel like... Because it also says love yourself first. I feel like you guys are giving a lot of yourself to a connection. Some of you guys, I'm also, it's like I get, you're giving more than what you're receiving. So some of you guys, you may be feeling some type of way about this energy. I see third house here, communication. That's in, let's see. So this is about transformation, wanting some changes here. This is an energy here for a lot of you guys right now, present moment. This is like communicating, wanting some changes, wanting a transformation. Is this connection going to move into a different direction? Where is this connection going? I feel like the next phase, I feel like you guys are wanting or waiting for a connection to move towards the next phase. We have Mars energy, which is current energy. Strong Aries energy talks about motion and action. This is like if, if, if nothing's going to happen, nothing's going to occur. If the changes that I want, that I need, is not going to happen, then I have to take actions towards what matters to me. I see the sun here, strong Leo energy. It talks about the source, and I feel like it's the source of your power here. I see Pisces energy coming through. That's a lot on spirituality. That's a lot of energy of what it is that you guys see for yourself, want for yourself. And I just feel like I have a group of you guys, whereas you've been giving yourself a connection here. It says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You know, this is like, okay, everything seems fine. Everything seems okay, but it's not. That's kind of what I'm getting in that energy. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Like how you feel matters. I feel like some of you guys, there's a, there's like, if you, it's like holding, I don't know why I'm getting like, almost like holding your tongue here. Almost like some of you guys may be kind of holding your tongue not wanting to shake things up here. 
I see communication. I see somebody here. Some of you guys, it could be a Scorpio. This person wants to talk to you. Could be dealing with an Aries here. This person wants to take actions towards you. I also have a Pisces here. This person feels a spiritual connection with you. I also have a Leo here. This person feels drawn to you, like you belong to them. This person feels like you're their source of happiness. And I feel like a lot of you guys right now, present moment, you, again, I feel an energy of putting someone on a pedestal, but also some, there's a source here. Like someone is your source of happiness. You are someone else's source. There's a fly here. That's going to work my nerve. Um, you are somebody else's source of happiness here, but I feel like that energy is strong, like almost borderline obsessive codependent. Like some of you guys, you may feel a little codependent to someone or someone may feel a little codependent to you or it may not even be noticeable to the person that's actually experiencing this. Yeah, show me what's currently going on with my Virgos and the person that's currently on their mind. So we have the Four of Cups with temperance here, Sagittarius energy. Hmm. You know, that's this, that talks about Sagittarius, Jupiter energy. That is all about, that flies aggravating me. That's all about your luck. That's all about things that you, this talks about divine timing, divine presence. This also talks about balance and temperament. And I feel like a lot of you guys right now, present moment, it's while you, you're in a position with the Four of Cups, Four of Cups goes from the Three of Cups, something that was once celebrated, to the Four of Cups to the Five of Cups. You know, right now, present moment, it's like there's an offer here. Someone's offering you something. But is it enough? Is it what you want? Is it the right timing? You know, because for some of you guys, there's something here about the timing being off between you and this person. There's something that's off between you and this person. Some of you guys, you're not sure that you want to further this, go down this road, because I feel like you want something to move on to the next phase, but because it's not moving on to the next phase, because somebody hasn't taken the initiative, because you don't see changes within somebody's actions, because you see very little action here. I feel like you guys right now, present moment, are contemplating what's next. And if somebody has you as an option or somebody's, um, cause there is a indecisiveness, you know, I feel like while somebody is giving you something, offering you something, this is like somebody saying, but I'm here, but they're not actually present. They're somebody saying like, I'm here with you, but they're not actually present with you. That's kind of the energy of what I'm getting, th getting through here. Because I do see, and I see some of you guys, you're unsatisfied. You may feel that there's like a sense of kind of bored, kind of over a situation because you feel like it's kind of stagnant. I picked up that energy earlier. You know, I do see a lot of you guys, whereas you want action, you want action, you want passion, you want to feel connected. You want a connection here with this Pisces energy that's coming through. Some of you guys could have been born on the 22nd. I have the 12th. I have the 18th. Or you could be dealing with somebody. They themselves could be born on those dates. I see the five of swords. I see the stress. I see the stress because you want, you want this. You do. You do want this. You know, this is something that you dreamed for. This is something that you strongly desire. And I feel like you guys are trying to, there's still hope. There's still hope, but I feel like you guys are becoming, you're, it's like you're getting to a certain point and it's starting to weather. I feel like it's starting to wear on you. Starting to, There's some wear and tear here on your heart right now, present moment. Show me this four of cups. So we have the 10 of cups in the reverse. See, you're not happy. You're unsatisfied in the situation, the tower, you know, because you've experienced, you know, there's been some surprises. There's been some shocking events, shocking turn of events, news, things that you found out unexpectedly. You know, there is some things you found out, you know, there's some, some of you guys, it's like, you didn't know all that you're finding out. 
you didn't know all that you know now queen of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn energy hmm. some of you guys unexpectedly you could have been in this relationship or this marriage here and somebody could have actually had someone else yeah let's see give me past energy for my virgo spirit so we have the hangman pisces energy you tried five of swords again i see where you guys tried this is the energy where giving more than you're getting back in return the strong pisces energy i feel like you guys try to see things from somebody else's point of view or somebody else's perspective you try to ease up control you know, you try to give someone freedom to make their own choices and see what's going to happen. I feel like you guys have five of swords. It's caused you a lot of stress, a lot of headaches, you know, a lot of arguments. There's been a lot of drama. You know, you've experienced a lot of drama. You experience, I feel like you guys have seen someone through different lenses from a different perspective you're seeing someone for the first time ever. You saw someone for the first time ever because there's an energy here of thinking that someone was one way and they actually turned out to be something so different. Something so different. Show me the hangman for my Virgos. Show me the hangman. Four of swords. See that? And I see where this is you guys trying to, it's like not fighting this not fighting it it is what it is you know a person they are who they are this is you guys just wanting to lay your swords down wanting to rest you know wanting to this is a new perspective this is trying to find peace and to try and heal from whatever this situation was the moon because i feel like a lot of you guys there were so many things that were hidden from you so many secrets so many somebody wouldn't really and truly opening up to you the way that they should have opened up to you and i feel like you guys this is kind of like this is it is what it is you know that's kind of what i'm getting in that energy yeah let's see give me the current challenge the tower see that upheaval but that's also wanting transformation because that tower scorpio energy i feel like there's communication that's happening for a lot of you guys right now present moment i feel like there's a lot of communication that's happening because you guys you want something to either end or something to transform you want to bring something to an end for something to transform you know however you you take it as it as you see fit here because this talks about your action this talks about you guys taking back control this talks about the actions and the steps that you guys take because you guys want to win and you want to be successful you want a new beginning you guys want a new beginning, seven of cups. You have options. You have choices and decisions to be made. You guys have many options, many options here. And you're trying to choose wisely, two of cups. But there's something here about you feeling a strong bond with the person that you're currently dealing with right now, present moment. It's like you don't want this relationship to end. You want progression in this relationship. But what I'm getting here in this energy is that there's opposition right now present moment or you feel like you're the only person that's taking this serious right now present moment give me near future six of wands wow six of wands came out in the reverse see that energy the chariot mm. so i do see where if things don't move forward if things if you're if you guys are not seen or heard or if you don't see that there is some progression, success, some victories or some wins here, I do see where you guys here with the chariot cancer energy, this is moving on. So some of you guys in the very near future, you will be moving on from a situation because you still don't feel seen or heard. You know, there's still lack of success, lack of forward movement, and you want forward movement. You want forward movement, cancer energy, temperance. You know, you've been patient. I'm hearing you've been patient, you've been kind, you've been compassionate, you know, you've prayed about it, you've meditated on this, you've tried all that you can try here is what I'm getting. But I do see as your challenge, we have the tower, which is, which itself is something very unexpected. Show me the tower. 
because I didn't pick that page of swords. Page of swords is finding out something, the fool, a new beginning. Seeing something, there's something you guys, there's something unexpected that you guys are learning or seeing. Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy, the Tower, Scorpio, Energy. There is something very unexpected, some type of surprise here that you guys are learning or you are seeing here through some type of investigation that's going to push you forward. You see, because you want a new beginning here, but this new beginning is not going to be the new beginning that you, that you had foreseen for yourself. Strong Aries Energy. And why is this? Wow. Why is this spirit? Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. Hmm. Some of you guys, there's somebody else here that likes you. See, some of you guys, there's somebody here in your energy. You could be dealing with two individuals that's younger or, or youthful, you know, younger or imma like immature. But I'm seeing here what this is, is that you're learning something, you're seeing something. But there's somebody else in this energy, the sun. Because some of you guys, there's someone here unexpectedly that you're learning and you're seeing something, but there's somebody else in this energy that likes you or that you like, page of cups, the sun, strong Leo energy. And there's something here about this person becoming the source of your happiness. So there's somebody new here that's becoming the source of your happiness. After you've learned something oh so unexpected, yeah, tell me about this page of cups. Tell me about this page of cups, spirit. Two of pentacles. Mm, this talks about taking on too much. Some of you guys, you are juggling between two. You're going back and forth, king of swords, and you're needing to make a decision. You know, you're needing to communicate, truly communicate what you want. I feel like right now, present moment, this is like an eva this is kind of like evaluating your situation. You know, this is like weighing the pros and the cons. And I feel like this is like, I can't do this. I have to make a decision. I know what's going, like, I. it's like knowing what you want. And I feel like this is like communicating, having a discussion with one or two parties. And it's like, whoever is in alignment with you. That's kind of what I'm getting in this energy. You're looking for something that's in alignment with what you see for your future. And what I'm getting here in this energy, some of you guys, you have one person that's in un, is unaligned and one person that is in alignment here. There's the potential of it. There's a new fresh start here. This is not something that, this is, this is like something that will take some time to evolve though. Whatever these situations are. Give me my Virgo's hopes and fears, spirit. Eight of pentacles. You see, you want things to work out. You want things to, you, you really and truly want things to work out. You don't want to waste your time. I feel like you guys, you want to move things on. It's like you want commitment. You guys, you want commitment. You want to enjoy. You want somebody that you can enjoy your time with. You want somebody that you can express your feelings with. You know, you want somebody that you can be open with. You know, because this is somebody here that you have some romantic feelings for. Some of you guys, this is somebody new. And it's not until you actually, your self-worth makes you more romantically attractive. Because you're leaving behind a situation here, some of you guys. You know, and some of you guys, your current challenge is even after you see this, you still care. You see, and some of you guys, you're staying in this. That's your current challenge. Even after you learn or see something very unexpected, something very shocking, you're still staying in this because the two of pentacles is taking on way more than you sh way more than you can juggle. Truly staying on with staying, staying there with way more than you can juggle. Look at that three of swords. See, this is in your hopes and fears. You're hoping something will work out, but you're fearful that there's third party energy, that there's heartache and that there's pain that's coming from this situation. Yeah. Show me this person's energy. The lovers. Hmm. Gemini energy. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody. They have a choice between you and somebody else. Ten of wands. 
this person is this person has some emotional baggage right now present moment this person has this person comes to you with baggage this person has baggage right now present moment and this person has to leave some type of baggage behind so whether the, you're the baggage or somebody else is the baggage or this person has something in their life right now present moment that is consuming their time and their energy there's something about this needing to be left behind here yeah show me the lovers So we have the Emperor, Ace of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse here. So some of you guys, this could be a Virgo, a Gemini, or an Aries here. Ace of Swords is, talks about clarity. You know, some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here. This is a divine being. But some of you guys, this person feels that you don't want to be in a relationship you want to be independent some of you guys this person finds you to be too independent not wanting to really share your space or your time oh so much a lot of you guys what i'm getting here in this energy is that this person finds you to be highly invested in your work or your career your money itself some of you guys this person finds you to be more if you're a feminine energy more in your masculine energy than your feminine energy like this person finding you to be controlling this person's finding you used to getting your way here so i feel like there's an evaluation that's happening right now present moment and there's somebody here for you guys that you have a strong bond with this person and this person wants to control you but this person is seeing that you are uncontrollable whoever this person is they're seeing that you're uncontrollable right now present moment give me outside influences potential outcome here four of wands four of wands talks about a separation the moon here why is the four of wands because there's something here that's hidden and there's something about a relationship that's not coming together the way it should the star aquarius energy knight of wands you see you see how this energy comes through and i feel like you guys already know that i do i feel like that's why all this communication is happening in your in your third house um scorpio energy you know this is about bringing something to an end or transforming it then we have mars energy this is about taking control aries energy action this is a powerhouse of action you know while you do feel a spiritual bond here with the sun the sun is all about the source of your happiness while you would want this relationship, this connection to be the source of your happiness, I feel like there's an illumination. And in that, it's like, it either is or it isn't. It either will transform or it won't. Massive energy. But the potential outcome is a separation. Why I'm seeing this energy, because I see the star here that came out in the reverse, Aquarius energy. You know, this is talking about not getting, like kind of losing hope, faith. As I see 23, 23 on the clock, you know, this is an 11, 11 connection. This is a serious connection between you and whoever this is. This could be a twin flame. This could be a soulmate. This could be 11, 11, a divine connection between you and this person. But this is saying that someone is losing hope and faith in this connection, in this relationship. You know, there, there's interference here. This could be interference with family members, friends, or a lifestyle here. You know, somebody could be right now, present moment, chasing after a dream. And I'm also getting like someone kind of being a little noncommittal. Someone kind of being a little noncommittal, distant, distant. And, and I feel like there's someone in this energy that's kind of thinking about what's good for them. So whether this be you or this person, somebody is right now, present moment, thinking about, okay, what's good for me? Yeah, let's see. How is my Virgo feeling about this person that's currently on their mind? I remember every detail of the day. Tell me about this day, spirit. 
I hid who I really am from you. Why do I feel like some of you guys, it's like you take, you, you taking something like you're taking, how do you say that? Instead of reacting, there's a, there's a demeanor here. I feel like you guys, when there's, when you found out something, when you saw something, when you learned something, when it's like the demeanor, your demeanor was there's, there's a calm composure in your demeanor, but really and truly, that's not how you felt internally. You know, I feel like some of you guys, it's like wanting to burst out or bust out of your bridges, but this is kind of holding a calm demeanor here. Yeah. And how does this person feel about my Virgo spirit? The timing just wasn't right for us. This person feels like the timing just isn't right for you guys or it wasn't right for you guys. Why is this? And this person lied to you and they regret it. This person lied to you a lot and they do regret it. But I feel like you guys intuitively knew this per you intuitively knew the truth about this person. That's why you guys hid who you really were from this person. You do. And I feel like you guys do play things over and over and over again about communication between you and this person in your mind. But I also don't feel like you guys allow this person to know that. Yeah, massive energy. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Know that I love and appreciate every last one of you guys. And I hope you have such a wonderful, wonderful evening. Bye, guys.